What's up, all my inspirational tea sippers? This is Shantara, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. It is Christmas Eve, and I pray that you guys are with family and just enjoying the day. If you do not have family and you you are spending this Christmas alone, just know that you are never really alone because Jesus is really the reason for the season. And if it had not been for him being born and going to the cross, none of this would even be possible. So I pray to God today that you have the right perspective on what Christmas really truly is. You know, I know that a lot of times that we as people, we kind of got the lines blurred as far as like what's Christmas about, making sure we're getting this and getting that. And a lot of us are go going broke around this time and, you know, just feeling bad about what you have and what you don't. <clears throat> I just wanted to say this today. If it was not for Christ, like I just said, none of this would even be possible. Like the reason he is truly the reason for the season. So we can get out of ourself and get, get, get out of our way. You know what I mean? Because life is not about us. Everything that we go through is not really even about us. It's all about God. And it's all about, and I know it sounds cliche, but it really truly is all about God. And it's all about his, pur his purpose for us, his perfect will for us and what he wants to do for us and a lot of times walking with god it requires us to die to self it requires us to die to our flesh it requires us to die to the things that we feel like we want to do it requires us to, requires us to die to our own thoughts and our own ways because the bible says that my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways and you know my my thoughts are higher than your thoughts and my ways are higher than yours so when we think we know it all, we absolutely know nothing, you know? And every year for Christmas, my oldest is 16. Every year for Christmas, we've always had a tree. We've always, I've always been able to make an amazing, including with their dad. I've always been, we've always been able to make an amazing Christmas. This year, with everything that is going on, we're not able to make Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And every year I've always told them, we have this conversation every year. I always let the kids know, we have this, we're doing this because we're able. You know, God saw fit to bless us so that we can do it this year. You know, this is, has nothing to do with us and everything, what, uh, everything to do with what God wanted for us in this season. And in this season, I find myself being perfectly okay with not having a tree not having presents to go up under the tree like i've already talked to my kids about christmas yesterday i was able to go and get them one thing a piece you know what i'm saying and very inexpensive and you know they were just excited and grateful for that it wasn't even no more besides i got tj a phone but the girls what i got them was you know some like beauty you know smell good and lotion and you know a little pack it was only five dollars y'all and they were so excited for that and i got the baby like a little piano keyboard to learn colors and and that was twelve dollars and i told the girls like this year is just we're in a different position and god will see fit to bless us and to bless us to be able to go shop and have all of the things that you desire but this year at this very moment we are in a transition season. We are transitioning over. You know what I'm saying? Mom is going through a lot as far as like in, in total obedience. You know what I'm saying? Cutting off and letting go of a lot of things. You know, financially, I'm not working right now. And it's just, it is what it is. And a lot of people commit suicide and a lot of people get, you know what I'm saying? The, the holiday blues and all that stuff because of how people put the holidays, how people, your expectation of the holidays, what people expect of the holidays. And it is okay. I pray to God that you find it in your heart to be okay with not having the norm and not having what you see in everybody else, trees stacked up with tons and tons of gifts. It's okay. And I'm not only saying this because this year we're not able to, like I've always told my kids, this is only because in this season, God has allowed us to do it. And in this season, it's not possible. And it is all freaking K. 
I was hell bent on having a tree, hell bent on. But you know what? I had to change my perspective. It's not that serious. We are all together. As cold as it is, we are warm. You know what I'm saying? We all have our health and strength. It's in him that we live, move, and have our being. We have plenty of food. We don't have nothing to be ungrateful for. We are very, very thankful in this season. So in this season, we are still blessed. In this season, we are still grateful. In this season, we are still thankful. It could be worse. So I pray to God today that you change your perspective. If you still are here, if you still have family, if you still have friends, and knowing that if you don't have any, understand that we have a God that is many companions. He is a father, a mother, a sister, a brother, a aunt, a uncle, anything that you need at this moment. Just seek him. Just seek him. Seek him. He is the ultimate comforter. So I pray, I pray to God that during this season, and my heart is so heavy with all these people that are in need. And you know, God blessed blessed me and my best friend to be able to, you know, feed at least 50 people. And, you know, that's a blessing. <laughs> that is a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I'm so excited to be able to give back in such a small way, knowing that, you know, there's more to come. So... <sighs> Sometimes I feel guilty for being in a warm room. Like that's just how my mind and my heart is made up. I feel guilty for being in a warm room when there's so many people out here that's just like literally cold and freezing. And I just want to do so much more. I just want to do so much more, but I know God is going to make it happen. He's got, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I pray that you are well. I pray that you are filled with hope. I pray that you understand that this is just a season. I pray that you understand that trouble don't last always. I pray that you understand that you are still the head and not the tail, that you are above only and not beneath. I pray to God that you understand that God is true to his word. His word cannot return to him void. He is a God who will never be mocked. We are still with family. We are still together. You know what I'm saying? We can still lounge and enjoy each other. And I'm so, so grateful in this season. I'm so thankful for the transition. I'm so excited about my land of milk and honey. I'm still full of faith. I'm still full of hope. I'm still full of strength. And I know in due time, the right house will find us or the right apartment will find us. And wherever God wants us to be in the next job coming up, it's all going to work out for my good. It's all working out for our good. I want you to know that God is the ultimate puppet master working behind the scenes. He's the ultimate puppet master working behind the scenes, but I want you to just stay encouraged, stay obedient, continue to not allow people to have access to you who don't deserve access to you. You know, stay silent in this season, stay praying, stay worshiping, stay giving God the glory and watch him just surprise you and just, <sighs> baby, listen, God is not man and he shall not lie. So be encouraged on today. Have a merry, merry Christmas. The Bible says that no matter what state I am in, I will be content. So I pray to God that you are content on today, no matter what situation you find yourself in. To God be the glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.